Hi, I'm Kathy, And I'm Kate. And we're here to support you through your journey from beginning to end. So in this video, we're going to run through some commonly asked questions. We encourage students to ask questions. The last thing we want is a student uh, sitting there not knowing what to do and who to contact. The first point of call is an email. A student can also request a phone call if necessary, and I'm happy to give them a call. My advice is to tell students to schedule their time, their online time, as they would as if they were going to attend classes at university. Now I tell students do not allocate large chunks of time, instead go for small regular chunks of time to enable you to balance study with your regular activities. The important thing here though is to actually schedule those times. Don't try and find them because they won't appear, you have to actually allocate them. Well, my advice would be to pick the unit that most interests you, okay, and then work through this unit in module order. A lot of our students try and work across three units at a time, and it's not really an efficient use of their time because they're having to backtrack and reread information if they have to go back to another unit. So choose a unit that you most want to start with, work through it in module order, you'll read through your content, and then you'll come up against a quiz, a short answer, and a task. Start off with your quiz because you're building your knowledge. Then you'll go to your short answer questions and then you'll go to your task. So if you go in order, you'll find you'll progress at a faster rate. There are a variety of methods to assess students, just because our students come from diverse backgrounds and have different experience. So we'd like to, to mix it up a bit. There's also an oral verbal assessment, which is a phone assessment. And this is nothing to be frightened of, but we need to also assess a student's ability to communicate verbally um, and interact with others. There's also some units have a video component uh, where the students required to gather friends or business colleagues together and record a video uh, following the performance criteria of that module. This is also can be fun, of course, um, and students love it because they also learn how to make a YouTube video. On average, a student should be able to complete their units in eight to ten weeks. And in fact, their first unit, I actively um, email students and give them tips and strategies along the way. Because if we know that they complete a unit in eight to ten weeks, we know they're well on track to complete their course. Yes, the course is self-paced. However, that just means studying at your own pace in your own time. You do need to regularly log on. And I find that if students regularly engage with their materials, they progress very fast very rapidly and in fact they get faster as they go along. So my tip to all you students is to log on at least four or five times a week, short periods of time and you'll find that you'll progress through your course and, and complete it well within the 12 month time frame. What the assessors look for is a student's preparation and initiative in answering the question. A key component too is the student uh, providing sufficient evidence, ticking off as they go along from the marking guide which is provided, which provides the criteria of what the assessor is looking for. So if the student works methodically through the marking guide and ticks off as they go along, they will not miss any component of the task that's required. Every section of a task needs to be addressed. So what the assessor will look for is that you've answered each component in sufficient detail. Well, from the three assessments that the student partakes of, the quizzes are immediate. The short answer questions and tasks take within five working days from submission. Um, but keep in mind that you don't need to wait to answer the next task or assessment before you receive the previous result. You can keep moving through. So welcome to Swinburne Online. We're here to support you and... Good luck and enjoy the experience. Absolutely. Absolutely.